Hey, my name is Luke Skywalker, and as a former graduate of Pally High, I'm going to help you guys out with your PCHS student accounts. I graduated, it was a long time ago, and I lived very far, far away, so I can relate to some of you who travel long distances to get here. So let's get started. I was born May 4th, 1977. My graduating year is 1995. So that makes my PCHS user name 1995skywalker.lu at pchs.pallyhigh.org. So let's break this down. Everybody's username starts with your graduating year. I graduated in 1995, so it starts off with 1995. Then followed by your last name. My last name is Skywalker, then a period, and the first two letters of your first name. For me, Luke, it's L-U. Then everybody's follows with at PCHS, which stands for Palisades Charter High School dot pallyhigh.org. Now my password is LS050477. The first two letters stand for the initials of my name, LS, Luke Skywalker. The next two numbers are the numbers of the month that I was born, May, which is 05. Then the day, which is the fourth, and then the year, which is the last two numbers, 77, because I was born in 1977. Now, in review, it's your grad year, followed by your last name, up to 12 letters with no hyphens, then a period, then the first two letters of your first name, and then at pchs.pallyhigh.org. That's your username. Your default password until you change it are your first and last initials, followed by a six-digit birth date. Now, what if my last name has more than 12 letters? So let's say my mom and dad, I chose to keep both their names, Skywalker Amadala. Now, if you count all the way up to the 12th letter, which is right over there on the I, everything else after that, I don't use. But remember, no hyphens, so I gotta get rid of that. So my last name in my username would be Skywalker Ami, making my username 1995 Skywalker Ami.lu at pchs.pallyi.org. Now, when you wanna start to log in, just go to go.pallyi.org slash account and click on the giant orange login button. That should take you to the login page where you put in your username, which is that for me. Once you do that, it actually will take you to a next step where you have to go and set up your self-service password reset so you guys can reset your own passwords if you forget them. And there is a video that you can see and watch for how to do that on go.pallyhide.org slash SSO, which stands for single sign up. All right, time to change your password. You're going to want to click in the upper right hand corner next to your name, then click my account which brings you to this screen. Click security and privacy and change your password. Anyone who knows your initials and your birth date can hack your accounts if you don't. Now, single sign-on, what does that mean? That means that your Palisades Charter High School account, which is your Microsoft account, gets you into all your accounts, your Wi-Fi, your Schoology account, your Infinite Campus, Office 365 account, Google account, and your IXL account. So what are the PCHS official educational technology software programs that you guys have access to. Well, the most important one is our student information system, which is Infinite Campus. Now, this is where your official grades are posted, uh, where your attendance records are, uh, and all your other uh, important student information records. Now, Schoology is our learning management system. This is where you'll also be uh, able to see your grades of every assignment, every class, um, broken down by category. It's also where you see most of the communication from the school uh, and your course materials are posted by class. Think of it as your digital classroom. Now Schoology is also our assessment management platform and that's where you'll be taking uh, assessments, uh, common uh, secure assessments across all uh, classes. This is where uh, teachers can track your standards and your student learning reports. Every student and teacher is given a Google account, PCHS Google account. Uh, which is your username and that's your email as well if you want to also it also allows you to access all the Google tools within uh, G Suite Google Docs Google Drive Google Sites things like that now to log in you just go to google.com and then click in the sign in and it'll take you to a Google login and you type in your PCHS username which takes you here and then type it again and then you're in now you also have uh, Microsoft Office 365 which is similar to Google in the sense uh, that allows you to be able to create online documents. So the tools that are most likely used uh, for students here are your online Word or Excel and PowerPoint, if you prefer those over Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. Although you have access to OneDrive to be able to store your files at 
Pally, our primary um, platform is Google, uh, so we want students to be using Google Drive to store all their class work. You also have access to PCH Wi-Fi using these account uh, username and password. So when you get on campus, you'll see that our network is PCHS underscore Wi-Fi and you log in using those credentials. With an iPhone, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you have an Android or Chrome or Windows, uh, these are the credentials that you would need to know in order to set it up and get onto the Wi-Fi. Now for mobile apps, we have the Schoology mobile app. Uh, once you download it, you gotta find your school by typing in Palisades Charter uh, High School and search for it, it should pop up. Click on that and then you can log in using your PCHS credentials. Amphita Campus, there is a parent and student app Students, download your student app. First thing you got to do is search for the district name. Start typing in. Probably just need the word Palisade, Palisades, and put in the California for the state, and you'll see uh, Palisades Charter High School as our district. Once you click on that, you can get to the right login page and use your credentials. Finally, Chrome is our official browser uh, per se because we are a G Suite school, and so we recommend that everybody, regardless if you're on a Mac or other device, that you use uh, Chrome. It's a free browser. And I would like for you to log in to the Chrome browser using these credentials. Because when you do, uh, what you'll notice is what pops up is an organized uh, bookmarks folder uh, called pchs.pally.org bookmarks that has very important links saved for you right there uh, for the student. So I hope this helps. May the force be with you.